Besides specifying a fixed width, you can also have a range. You can have a minimum and a maximum um, width, so that uh, the 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 elements will will adjust accordingly. Um, so, for instance, say that I have a maximum width of 900. That means that the width can be anything from zero to 900, and it will it will adjust to the size of the browser. So. In this case, uh, they all show um, in a in a column, but as the size increases, they'll adjust accordingly until they reach a limit, which is the 900 for the for this um, element for the container. See that it goes all the way here, so there's no more room for for this tile to to move up. That's um, something you can do as well if you want to have control of the of the size of these things and you don't, you don't want to have one fixed width but you want to have a certain range so um, let's uh, think of a minimum width as well imagine that I don't want to have one uh, on top of the other like this the minimum that it has to be is like this then I can specify a minimum width say 500 and now um, it's not going to go any any smaller than that. So see how even even though this is not really doing much, it's already acting like a like a responsive um, little web app that would adjust to to different screen resolutions. And I want to show you now how to make this whole thing to be centered on the page. I'm going to show you how to center uh, a container horizontally. So let me just give this, uh, the, these tiles uh, a background color so that we can distinguish them is, uh, easily, more easy from the background. Um, actually, I'm going to give that to, to this guy here. Uh, background color, I will say that it's um, blue. Well, this one, blue. And so the width is increasing until it reaches a point and you can center it once the width is fixed so you either have a fixed width in here or um, or when you reach the maximum width in, in this case that's what that's when we'll center it so when, um, the way we do that is by defining the by defining the margin property and for for top and bottom we're just gonna say zero but for the sides, this is the important part. Th this could be uh, some other number, but you need to define the left and the right as auto. And when that happens, now that we make this grow, um, see that the the div is now um, centered on the page. And you can do you can do this as well in in uh, for instance, if I wanted to center some content inside of these tiles, uh, since these tiles have a fixed uh, width. Um, I mean the, the inner element would need to have a fixed width and then if I define the margins like this it will usually center. There might be some cases when it doesn't work like that uh, if, if there's a more combination of like, floating elements and things like that but um, just uh, most of the time this will be enough to, to center uh, an element.